cafes, restaurants, bars. Guys, this is literally a brand new beautiful suitcase. <laughs> the chicken in the shop was so nice to set the code for me. It literally, I swear it just worked. And I've mixed the numbers up to like, just check it's all good again. All my stuff, isn't it? Do I break my brand new suitcase? Or do I take it to the shops tomorrow? I do, like, we have a 3 o'clock flight, so I do have time, but, like, do the shops even, or do they just break it? This is so sad. Hey, guys. Update. I'm going to bed. Still didn't get the suitcase open, so go to the shops in the morning. Suss it out. Honestly, happy didn't happen when I'm, like, overseas. Um, but the worst thing right now is that my skincare is in my suitcase. I didn't get to do my skincare routine tonight. breakfast and stuff but I I feel like because we're just trying to settle in stuff I haven't vlogged yet um but like look at our room pretty cute little, little kitchen I'm gonna sit by the pool for a little bit and just chill I think Luke's got some work to do and I'm just gonna film a video of myself as I do and then oh, are we good okay cool um and then
second day, thirdish day. We did get here late at night on the first night. Um, but we are checking out a bang tower today. Oh my god, look at that background. Damn. Um, we're only here for a couple nights because um, our main place we wanted to go to was Koh Samui and the islands, and we came to Bang Tao for a couple of nights. So Luke could do a bit of work, and now we're just checked out and waiting for our taxi. Um, I'm so excited to see Koh Samui. So excited to see Koh Samui. I feel like the islands, oh, and around surrounding, we do a lot of like day trips and stuff there. I'm so excited for. Everyone raves about it, so I'm keen to see it and see what everyone raves about. We're also going to, after Koh Samui, we're going to Koh Samui for four nights and then we're going to Koh Tao for two nights. So, I don't know, I was just thinking when I got here the other day, I was like, wow, I just feel so, like you feel different when you're overseas. It's just like, you just forget about the worries, everything else, all the stress. I don't know, it's just, you're so far away from everything. And I love that so much <laughs> and for the first time being overseas since 2020 2019 was the last time I went overseas because you know why um it just it feels so good and just like exploring like everything that's like so different here and I just love that I love that so yeah we're gonna go back to Phuket airport and get an hour flight over to Koh Samui so it's a lot of um a lot of traveling. We're also getting to Koh Tao, we're getting a ferry, so yeah, it's very interesting. Anyway, check in then. Bye. Okay, no, I got the window. I've got the window. No, but I'm taking the window. <laughs> Can I have the window? Yes. Alright guys, coming in here with a voiceover because look, we just I just need some explanation. So pretty much the flight from Phuket to Koh Samui was about an hour. Um, literally the most perfect views. I will have the links. We flew with the Bangkok Airways, which is the only airline for domestic travel anyway. Arrived at our new resort. This is Rocky's Resort. Okay. You couldn't even jump on it. <laughs> I thought it like Beyonce. Was this place is freaking stunning. I want my bag too. I know. Look at this room. Hi. Oh, I get hats. I knew I wanted this. Beautiful. Whoa, this bathroom. So in Koh Samui, we stayed kind of out of the main area a little bit. Um, we stayed in this beautiful resort called Rockies. It was definitely more of a very chill, very romantic, very not isolated, but you just like you have your own little paradise, which I feel like was really good for us to just relax in the middle of our trip. The pools, the bars, the food, everything was there for you. It was just so stunning. We did meet this little kitty. I think it was like the manager's kitty or something because it was so friendly and really just kept following us everywhere. So the closest beach and like kind of like little town center was called Lamai Beach from us. We did get a scooter there. There were a lot of shops that kind of looked like this one. Some very interesting flavors. This was an absolute culture shock. Um, if you know what this is, it was very interesting and, you know, a very good reason to go to Thailand. Um, our resort also just came with amazing cocktails and happy hour, which was just perfect. Like you just didn't have to go anywhere, which sometimes is really nice. Um, this was the view from the lobby as well. We were right on the beach, which was really helpful because just go for a swim. Absolutely the best. There's the kitty again following us around. Today we are doing a day trip. We're going to Pig Island. So this is a day trip you can do off Koh Samui. I will add all the links into the description. It was so easy to book. We had a hotel transfer come and pick us up and take us. This was such a cool experience. We got taken to a beach where there was just pigs everywhere. So many pigs. There were also like little puppies everywhere too. 
It was just such a cool experience. You can buy food for them and feed them. We also got taken on a boat and go snorkeling and get food. It was about a five hour day trip all up. Um, yeah, and I highly recommend. Hello guys, we just got back from dinner. It's our last night in Koh Samui. Oh my god, we just went out for some sushi and then like rode around some like the markets and stuff. And I feel like I just completely forgot how good like the Thailand knockoffs are. Like I literally remember when stuff would come out, we'd be like, oh no, don't worry, don't buy it. Get like a knockoff when we go to Thailand on like Bali and stuff. And I feel like because of COVID and everything, I just forgot that was a thing. And look what I just bought. For 30 bucks, Apple headphone knockoffs. I am so excited. I feel like the only reason I even wanted them was just because they look cool. So like, I got them and they, I just tried them out actually, but they did like die straight away. But here they are, look. They like literally look the same. Um, before it died, I just put it on and it, it was amazing. It had the noise cancelling which honestly I didn't even expect it to work at all um, and it worked fine so stunning we love that um, yeah also it's a bit of a culture shock as well because since we've been here last which I think was like oh, what year do you reckon we came to Thailand last uh, I feel like it was just after school, so maybe like 2017? Yeah, I think it was 2017. Um, 2017 or like early 2018 is the last time that we came to Thailand and it was not legal back then, but now it is, which means it's literally in like cafes, restaurants, bars, you can just buy it with your drink. <laughs> We, I'm putting the videos here, we literally walked into a shop, a dispensary as they're called, and it was just selling it like gelato. There's flavors. Blown away. Wild to me. Absolutely wild. Um, but yeah, so that's cool. That's legal here. Very just normal, like full cafes dedicated to it. And I kind of love that for them. Um, yeah, besides that, it's been... A pretty good trip so far honestly it's been I don't know if you can hear that rain behind me it's literally been raining all day today and my hair is wet from being on the motorcycle in the rain um, the last two days yesterday we did do the pig island which was amazing I'm sure you see all the video content just before that was absolutely insane like the they were very greedy they wanted all the food it was kind of scary one like wanted to just eat my whole hand um but awesome experience snorkeling as well it's been beautiful it's been so stunning so we're going to Kotel tomorrow I really just hope this weather like gets better we had beautiful weather in Phuket the first two days and I feel like we just didn't take advantage of it enough because now we have storm and rain but it's still so muggy and so hot though so I know it's like it comes on and off but like, like pour down for like 20 minutes and then it will just stop for an hour so look it's fine it is what it is 
Um, I can't wait to show you our new accommodation in Koh Tao though. That is insane. I am, it's beautiful. I can't wait to see it. So we're getting a ferry tomorrow to Koh Tao. Absolutely keen. So to get to Koh Tao, you do have to get a ferry, which was about maybe two hours, but honestly, it's so incredibly worth it. Koh Tao is like known for like being the diver island. It has amazing beaches, it has amazing water. Unfortunately, we got terrible weather for the two nights we were there. So look, we didn't get to see the beautiful water and stuff, but it was still so stunning. And the place that we stayed was definitely the highlight. It was like our own little bungalow in a rainforest. I was obsessed. Hello guys, it is our second last day in Thailand and honestly the weather has turned to absolute shit um it is fine we actually got like half good weather and now it's like the second half of the trip not so great so it is what it is but the place we're staying in is so stunning it's on Koh Tao catch a ferry here yesterday which was scary the rain was like torrential and it was terrifying but we made it. <laughs> so we're only here for two nights, but look at this place. A monkey? Oh. You just really want to see monkeys, don't you? Um, today is a super chill day. Like, I feel like because the weather is just crazy, it's it's super chill. We don't really know what else to do. It's fine. It is what it is. But oh, it's gotten warm out here. Got a comfy little hammock. We love the hammock. Sure, no, sure. We want one now. Isn't that right? <laughs> I just can't get over like the view here. I feel like we're in like a little treehouse rainforest. We are in a treehouse and we are in a rainforest. We are in a treehouse and we are in a rainforest. True. So in between like the literal storms that were coming down every like hour, we did manage to get to one of the beaches. I feel like if the weather was better, we probably would have spent the whole day jumping around beaches, but because we did hire a scooter to get around the island, it just wasn't totally safe to be riding the whole day. But we did manage to go to one beach. This is called Freedom Beach. Guys, this was beautiful. And this was like right after a huge storm. And look at the color of the water. It is still so stunning. Um, they had like little swings and little hammocks in all like the trees. Um, there was also this little restaurant that had like really cool nets that you can like sit in. But oh my god, I will definitely be coming back to this island and definitely we're going to come back for longer next time. I am home now guys and wow just like settling back into routine after being like away was a lot um but that trip was just so needed and it's I feel like I forgot the feeling about being overseas and exploring new places exploring new people new cultures like all that different stuff and you've got to like navigate how you're getting places and all like that I don't know, this that travel feeling again. It's been so long since I've properly felt that. So it was really nice. It was mainly a very relaxing trip. Like we really didn't overdo anything. And both of us have been so busy with work that it was just really nice to be super, super relaxed. Um, I'm really glad that we decided to do more of an island hopping trip and go over to Koh Samui and Koh Tao. I feel like it was so much more chill the places that we wanted to see um we have done like mainly phuket and um patong beach and all that 
those sort of places before so we didn't want to do that again i would highly recommend if you love that more island vibe and stuff to go over to Koh Samui. so much more of a chill vibe um and we definitely be going to Koh Tao again probably only Koh Tao for long guard like that was such a beautiful place and i'm really sad that we only had two days there but that's okay because it was such a great experience and it was just like i'm so glad that traveling is back and everything is just easy and we're back to exploring the world so i will see you guys in the next vlog